Hello everybody, thank you once again for joining me. This is uh, Poet WP. Today I'm going to read to you a bit of my prose. Something I wrote, uh, I don't know, about a year ago. It's called, The Light Workers Will Manifest the Future. Our societies are beset from every angle with towering monuments of evil. And they have always been there. From the first time each of us ever opened our eyes, there it's been, looming in the foreground. And we have become so used to it being there that we don't even see it anymore. Human beings seem to have a deep-seated, unconscious or subconscious impulsive need to shave off the edges and frays of the population with sacrifice human sacrifice, and suffering, human suffering. We harvest the suffering, we harvest the sacrifice with labels of ideology, with justifications of our belief systems. We rally around notions of God, justice, and revenge as they feed us our daily helpings of government-sponsored fear. And we pay the tithing of our collective dark heart, and we destroy. We destroy lives with discriminate precision. We destroy the poor and the disadvantaged with our court system. We have become, as Hunter S. Thompson put it, a nation of jailers. We imprison more people than any other country in the world. Good old America. We do. 2.5 million American American people are incarcerated. One in three black men are incarcerated. And yet the it's one, it's one in every 31 adults. And that right there is a staggering number. That already is a lot. One in every 31 adults. Yet it's one in three black men. Uh, that should tell you about the inherent bias of the system, especially when, when if you look at a statistical percentage-wise, black people do not commit more crimes than white people. It's just a fact. The U.S. makes up 5% of the world's population, but we have 25% of the world's prisoners. The prison population has doubled since 1985 because of our nation's draconian destructive drug laws. This must change. We must make them change the system and do away with so many of these concrete slave ships that, we, that are our prison systems, especially our private prison systems. They're the worst. Okay? So these people in the prison system and they run this shit, people are no different than a commodity like a stock or a bar of gold. It's time to wake up. Wake up or be damned. That's what's going to happen. You're going to suffer if you don't wake up. And there, and there is war. And we kill ten times as many of them as they do of us. And that's at a minimum. Uh... Over 2 million indigenous people have been killed in the Iraq Iraq war. And don't kid yourself, folks. The war was fought and is still being fought in other nations around Iraq for the sole purpose of so that only the corporations can profit from it. So they can get, uh, and so they can get an economic foothold in the region where all the majority of the world's natural resources are located. They want to establish military bases. They want to establish it and take it over the way they did Europe after World War II. That's what they want. They want to control the whole region. That's the goal. They'll invade every country eventually. They might even decide to come after uh, Israel or uh, Saudi Arabia eventually. They want it all. They'll be the last ones. Um, Every other reason they give us for these wars 
is pure lies and propaganda. They never let a great tragedy go to waste. They use the same old, tired, Hegelian dialect formula on every other generation, and they get away with it. But they're not going to be getting away with it in this new age of Aquarius, because this bullshit ain't going to fly anymore. They create a big problem. Uh, then they get a big reaction out of the public and stoke the fires of outrage with inflammatory propaganda. Then they present uh, the population with the, solu with the solution, which is their already pre-written agenda, which they could not have gotten away with without doing the horrible tragedy that put fear and hatred into our hearts. 9-11. <coughs> Wake the fuck up, people. The people who start and maintain modern wars are agents of the worst kind of omnipotent evil power because they are beyond reproach and are not held to account for the death and devastation that their orders bring down in this life. But the very worst part of hell will be reserved for the architects of these atrocities. It's time to take the power back and free the collective human spirit from the bonds of fear and anger. For they lead to the dark side. Didn't you geeks learn anything from Yoda? I know this geek did. And for those of you who say, Oh, that's absurd. You're full of it. Or you're offended and you can't see the truth in my words. Guess what? You're sheep. And the sheepdog is speaking to you, urging you not to get startled and blindly run off the cliff with the rest of the flock. Okay, well that all speaks for itself. I don't have to elaborate. Anyway, the stuff you've been sharing at with its shaky camera, I'm sorry. Uh, I haphazardly threw this together. Uh, this is Banksy. I'm a big Banksy fan. Uh... And I like this. I thought this fit the spirit of this bit of a speech here. So yeah. Strong words. So. I urge you to consider them. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll do some more lighthearted things next. To uh, ease the blow. A little bit from uh, this is a, this this one had some teeth so okay <laughs> hope you like it thanks for tuning in okay like share and subscribe if you're so inclined um, I try to post videos uh, every day if I don't do it every day then uh, I try to do two the next day so uh, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.